starting off with some figs this morning and um, these green ones have gotten real soft and perfect but these black ones interestingly the skin has turned tough um, being out they they're delicious inside but the skin is tough does anyone know anything about figs is there a way I can prevent that um, I don't know much about them but I know they're delicious on the inside changing it up a little bit Back to my old ways, gonna have a smoothie for breakfast. Got collard greens and romaine in there and a bunch of berries. I haven't had any berries lately. Or, um, wow, my hair is really amazing. <laughs> um, or any flax or anything like that. So I've been missing a few things that I need to have. So I'm just starting off with this today. I'm gonna see, since I've been doing the veggies for breakfast thing for a while, I wanna see kind of what happens if I go back to this. I will go back to veggies for breakfast probably tomorrow, but I just wanted to see how I would deal with having a bunch of berries and not a lot of dates, just three dates, which is um, totally acceptable from a Furman standpoint. He says, you know, no more than three to four dates per day. So I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Um, it's 9.30 and um, I didn't really have much food yesterday. I actually had the small fruit breakfast and then I had the um, salad plus um, what was it kale soup I think and I didn't want any more food um, I'm not restricting or anything it's just strange like I only that's all I wanted and I, ha I did that huge hike as well and so I thought I was gonna be super starved but I wasn't at all um, and now I got on the scale this morning and I was down to 120.8 which if you recall, I'm using a new scale. So if I had been using the scale from when I was doing the challenge, I would have been at 119.8, which is like, what? I, huh? Like, <laughs> it's kind of amazing what's happening. Um, I'm eating so much food. I feel like I'm so full, but clearly it's like uh, a deficit in calories, which is a good thing because my body's not at the ideal weight that it's supposed to be at. It's at a great weight, don't get me wrong, if you're not a nutritarian and you don't know much about the concepts about um, ideal weight and things like that, don't worry. I'm not like, you know, I'm starving myself or something. I'm eating tons of food. I feel great um, getting in all the things I need, but I've just been eating a lot more beans, like tons of beans, um, and then lots of veggies and stuff, which has been just, I think, getting me down to this ideal weight. So starting with a smoothie today, we'll see how it goes. And I added carob powder, cause yum. So when Colleen came over, she actually, she was making smoothies a couple times, which is really amazing to have someone else make <laughs> food for you. And she does things in a different order when she puts it into the blender and I was watching her. We have this, uh, like I have this technique that I use that, because I hate when the um, smoothie splashes up on the top of the thing or up the sides of the walls of the blender. I hate that. I like like it to stay at the level it's at. I'm so um, stupid in that way. But so we were working on these like techniques and playing with it and stuff and she she makes her smoothies perfectly as well. And she used um, not frozen bananas and then like regular not frozen berries. And I I don't know if I've ever done that. Like I maybe in the very beginning, but I always freeze everything. So that, it, it requires a lot more water in my smoothies to get things moving. And so when she made it, it blended a lot easier. So I did that just now. And Colleen, if you're watching this, um, and what the reason I'm telling you this is because I think, and I'm not sure about this, I need to test this more, but I think non-frozen bananas taste less like bananas than frozen ones. So for people that don't like bananas, um, try having just the right bananas instead of freezing them like I used to do all the time because I actually think that they have less banana flavor like I don't even taste the banana in this actually I only used a half a banana but um, but still something to keep in mind so I'm just refilling my container with nutritional yeast here and um, I use nutritional yeast a lot for uh, flavoring things make them a little bit more cheesy type flavor Salt substitute, substitute, definitely true. Note though is that when I first tried nutritional yeast, I like bought some, brought it home, tried it. I didn't like it at all. And it was like another year or two before I actually started trying it again. And really, it wasn't until I gave up salt that I appreciated what it tasted like. And, and um, But I'm telling you, the smell, 
it's the most heavenly smell ever. But I just wanted to make a comment. So I got this one, the Sari, Sari Foods or Sari Foods um, nutritional yeast brand. I got it off Amazon. I got it because it doesn't have, um, it's not fortified with, um, I think it's folic acid is the thing that Furman says they fortify these with. And so he sells one on his site, but this is a little bit cheaper on Amazon. So I'm going to put a link to this below on Amazon affiliate link down below if you want to try this one out. What's interesting though is like I used to get it at Whole Foods in the bulk section, but I'm sure that's probably fortified. Um, but look how yellow the old stuff is and then look at this the color of this brand stuff. Um, and this is like bigger flakes and stuff. Interesting. I'll see how I like it. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll see how I like it. All right, I just finished my Facebook Live. Now it is time for lunch. Starting off with a bunch of these. Someone else also thinks it's time for lunch. Hmm? <laughs> oh my god. Wasn't that the cutest thing ever? Mo. Hey Mo. <laughs> and I am going to make a salad and maybe some of that soup. We'll see. Big huge meal. Time for big huge meal. Bye. <sighs> Alright, this has turned into like kind of grazing lately while I'm preparing things, which is fine. Like, I like what I've been doing lately because I've got these vegetables here as and I had like a couple strawberries and um, I had a bunch of those tomatoes and stuff while I'm preparing stuff I'm warming up some of the kale soup I'm trying to decide whether having a bunch of these vegetables or having a salad or some of each I'm not sure but as I'm doing it I'm snacking on vegetarian foods I um, have a bunch of these beans left over so I just rinsed them off and I'm going to be snacking on a bunch of those too. So all nutritarian foods. And I love this actually because it like it's just really flexible and I don't feel like I'm always eating the same thing every day. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, here's what I've decided on. I'm having a big huge bowl of cut up um, vegetables. This is like a cup, cup and a half probably or more. And then I've got a half a cup of beans, and I just put some nutritional yeast and Mrs. Dash all over them. And I've got my dip for the veggies, and then I'm also having a huge bowl of the kale soup. And now, strawberries for dessert. Couldn't escape it today. I'm gonna have a little peanut butter on the side with this. It's bananas, um, cherries, blueberries, and then chocolate almond milk. Too much sugar. Oh well. Oh, somebody's interested, too. Hmm? Okay. So I finished my ice cream with blueberries in it, and I watched TV for a little bit, and I came into the bathroom, and I checked my teeth to see if there was anything in there. <laughs> yeah, whoa is right, Vincent. <laughs> Make sure if you have blueberry ice cream, don't go out in public right away or just check your teeth first.